Well, now, as Jehovah's Witnesses, as runners, even though some of us have become a little weary, it almost seems as though Jehovah has provided meat in new season, because he's held up before all of us a new goal, a new year, something to reach out for, and it just seems it's given all of us so much more energy and power in this final burst of speed for the finish line. And that's the year 1975. There's been a lot of talk about the year. In fact, even this week, some individuals have uh, been wondering, well, what does it mean? Or do we dare talk about it? Uh, uh, is it something we can discuss among ourselves, even though we might talk, not talk about it too much in public? Do we really know what it means? Well, we don't have to guess what the year 1975 means. If we read the Watchtower, because the Watchtower has been very explicit as to what the year 1975 means for us. There are the skeptics who say, well, I'm not going to think about it, not worry about it, not even going to pay attention to it. Well, now remember, brother, the faithful and discreet slave is used by Jesus Christ to do what? Jesus says to provide meat in due season. This is meat, and it's come at the right time, and it's in its due season, and it's not wrong to think about it and to look forward to it. As far as knowing for sure, well, we know what we know for sure. We just read it. The end of 6,000 years of human history, and possibly the execution of the wicked in the beginning of the thousand year reign. And that should be exciting enough and talk enough for us. Very soon now we wait for Babylon the Great to be turned upon and severely scathed and destroyed and decimated to where there's nothing left of her. And then the cry, peace and safety. We finally got rid of the old harlot. She's off our back. No more religion to bother us, the nation say. But uh oh, there they are, rearing their ugly heads up above the dust. Jehovah's Witnesses. Now with a message more fierce than has ever been heard before. Now with a taunt song to the nation. You see, we told you Babylon the Great was going down, was going to be destroyed. You said it would never happen, but you did it yourself. Now you're next. Jehovah will destroy you. That's when they all combine, all the communistic and democratic powers together, with one objective in mind, wipe out those people. And then truly we'll be rid of all antagonists and have peace and safety and we'll have our unified world. But when they begin to attack Jehovah's Witnesses, strange things begin to happen. It seems to be calamities are brought by Jehovah God in a fierce and, uh, and horrifying way, as though they've never seen things of this nature before. Flesh-eating plagues are mentioned by Zechariah that will sweep this earth, rot the eyes out of the sockets and the tongues out of the mouths. They'll run screaming out of their houses with this striking them, and yet they'll see Jehovah's Witnesses are untouched. I want to get in now. Let me be one of you. That's too late now. Well, now who will be there? of us here tonight. For the Society of Mary Application of this scripture and pointing out that those of us among Jehovah's Witnesses that are not regularly associating with his people without good cause such as being flat on our back will not be in the due order. And we're the ones that are going to come around when the doors close and say, I want in now. Sir, open to us. And Jesus will have to say, I'm sorry, I don't even recognize you. Now, wouldn't that be an awful thing? Do you see now why the society implores us year in and year out the same old thing? Brothers, get in the flock. Don't let any excuses get in our way. Nothing of any nature. There's only one thing that's going to count when that time comes, and that's that we are inside. We hope that all of us here tonight are going to listen to the society's imploring. We're going to listen to their agonizing and treaty brothers get in because they know what's coming. 
and it's coming back. And don't wait till 75. The door is going to be shut before that. So, what are we going to do now with our future? As one brother put it, stay alive to 70.